You know, people talk about housing like uh, it's a bad thing. And you know, oh wow, you ended up in housing. Oh, poor you. Oh wow, that sucks. And you know, I, I, I think I felt the same way. I told her, so when you're ready, you let me know. And she had joined Ross and then she kind of dropped and forgot about it. And she'd come in every once in a while and announced. And I told her, so when you're ready, you'll know you're ready. Carol Cook is a single mother of two. Do you know what this book is? The Giving Tree. When she met her child's father, life would never be the same. First time he hit me, I was three, four, five months. I was showing. I was five months pregnant. And he shoved me up against the refrigerator. I was spun around, and it was pinned up by my neck. And I just wham, right in my face. He said to me, he's like, he's like, I'm going to f***ing kill you. I'm going to kill your son and I'm gonna take my baby and he's like and you're gonna be f dead and f you. Carol called 911 and thought she'd be saved but it backfired on her. DCFS came to visit me the next day. If you can't protect your kids we're gonna take your kids and protect your kids because you can't protect your kids. It scared me. It scared me to death. I'm like I did nothing wrong. I did well I did do something wrong. I kept taking them back. I kept taking him back. It was almost like she was controlled by the male figures in her life. I don't know, maybe I used my um, abusive relationship, you know, as a catalyst, I guess, for that. Because I knew when it was time and he didn't even beat me that day, I just left. When I finally had enough and it was, the end was the end, um, I uh, went in and I talked to one of my caseworkers. And she came in and saw me. We talked for a while and she was like, Carol, you're ready. There's a new class starting. It's called Rebuild. And then hooked her up with Maggie. You know, I'm not dumb. I've been around. I know the deal. I learned so much. They rebuilt me. They brought me back up. Within two and a half, three months of graduating from Re Rebuild, I, uh, I had a job. <laughs> I hadn't worked for quite a while, you know, and it felt good. It felt amazing. You know, I liked working at the mom and pops places. There's only so far you can go in that, you know, because the families are the owners. So they are the top of the line. The kids are the managers, mm -hmm. the families, the managers. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I ever opened my eyes as to what a corporation could do for me. I'm going to miss my, I'm going to miss my new friends. You know, it's been a while since I've had some friends. It's from good to John. I really love it. Take care. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. To the punch out spot. Out. Punch out. Hi, Charlene. This is Carol Cook. Are you busy? No, I'm not. About you. you were you know I had a few more th you know some paperwork to do and she's like when can you come in and I'm like now I can come in now I talked about it and rebuild <laughs> I did I was like what I really want to do is work in a hotel and the hotel I really want to work at is Marriott <laughs> and my dreams are coming true it's a dream come true I'm going to be a guest services representative and I'm also going to cross train to be one of the bistro team members. So I'm going to learn how to run the front desk and the computers. No doubt in my mind, I am uh, I'm going where I want to go. I'm headed in the right direction. I feel strong. I feel good. I feel happy. I would not change a thing about getting stuck in housing. I think... Um, God had a plan for me, and uh, putting me in housing uh, was like a slap of reality. Like, it's time for you to open your eyes and see what you have here. You know, there are so many things I wanted to do, and it just wasn't, it was out of reach. I, I, I couldn't grasp it, and, you know, I got to the point where it was like, you know, why even try anymore? You know, I was, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I had this hunk of junk messing everything up. I couldn't work because I had to stay here with her to protect her, to make sure she was safe. It was tough, but you know what? I, 
I deserved it. I needed it. It was my kick in my ass that put me back on track and, and I'm really excited where I'm headed now. It's, I'm excited. I'm excited about life again.